Today we're going to do our first part on how to dehydrate food for the trail. And we could start with how to dehydrate a pea or a carrot or an apple, but we're just going to get really irresponsible and jump right into making full-blown chili in your kitchen and shoving it right in the dehydrator. Tonight we're going to do trusty old onion. I'm going to throw in some yellow squash. Which three of these beauties I'm going to use, but I'm sure I'm going to use some of those. Uh, of course, garlic. I throw garlic in everything. I'm not even sure what kind of pepper that is, but I'm going to chop that up and put some or all of it in there. Now, I'm eat one of these mystery packets. I'm not sure which. And we, I like tomatoey chili. Uh, I normally throw black beans in there. Don't have black beans. I actually dehydrated my black beans. Those aren't going to work. I always like some tomato paste in mine. Cool. I use very, very lean, lean ground beef. Fat does not dehydrate. You'll learn that. And when you make your ground beef, you want to prepare it with breadcrumbs. Ready? Here we go and start. And we're done. And bam! Just that fast. Okay. Here's our next victim, the yellow squash. And bam! Starting now. Pow! Okay, this is all diced up and we're gonna move to the can opener portion that I'm not gonna make you watch. Okay, the last little bit I need to go over with you guys is the ground beef. Uh, vegetarians, vegans, look away. Just, just turn your eyes away from this part. Oh, here we have the ground beef. And then I have, for each pound of ground beef, you want to use half a cup of breadcrumbs. And just dump it all in there. Just dump, just, just be liberal with this. And you know where to make love to your beef. Just really, just really get in right now. That was magical. That was magical. Okay. We get to play with Excalibur. Yes. Whoa. 